too. So one of my first goals is I wanted the uh, solar panels not to really stand out but be more subtle. So I picked sharp solar panels and these are the black on black look so it looks nicer in a residential environment versus kind of what I think of the polka dotted version that some people get. The only thing I liked about Sharp was they're made in the U.S. and so it's kind of like a mini economic stimulus plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the third part was the so-called inverter which converts the DC that this generates into AC that I can use in my home. And the issue there was that I do have a tree, you can't see it, it's right there, which sometimes shades part of the array. And I chose, and actually Dane suggested this because I'd never heard of them, use microinverters. That is, each panel has an inverter underneath that converts the DC to AC and feeds it into my main uh, circuit breaker box. And that um, means that if this panel, for example, if this panel were to break, all the rest would still keep going. Or if this panel gets shaded, all the rest keep keep going. And even though I like that part of it, actually the most fun part of it is that the um, and microinverter software from Enphase, really fun to watch and see my power usage as the days and weeks go by. And that's how I know all the statistics from my usage, as a matter of fact. 